State of the Birds is an effort by a large group of scientists and conservation biologists from both federal and non-federal agencies across the U.S. to assess the, the, the population trends of, of birds of North America. So how did we do? Did we get an A+. Plus? We definitely did not get an A+. Plus. Oh. Uh, there's some good news, okay. uh, but there's also some real sobering news. Uh, one example is uh, the island of Hawaii. Hawaii is easily the extinction capital of the world. In the last 40 years, we've seen about 10 extinctions of birds, which is just, just remarkable. Uh, and all 33 species of endemic island birds in Hawaii are, are of concern. The declines in Hawaii are being caused by a variety of factors. Uh, one of the big ones has been malaria. That's been carried in by an invasive species of mosquito. And uh, there are other factors as well, things like cats, goats, rats, and mongoose that are all taking birds. What are we doing to try and help these birds? In the case of cats and rats and mongoose, uh, biologists are working very hard to build enclosures to protect certain bird populations. Uh, they're trying to remove those invasive species uh, and, and they're having some success, but there's a lot of work still yet to be done. So are we only worried about island birds? No, not at all. Uh, in the mainland US and Canada, uh, of the 750 species or so, 75% of those species are migratory. A number of these species that are showing uh, alarming declines, species like the wood thrush, uh, the cerulean warbler, the golden wing warbler, and the rufous hummingbird, species that spend a small period of the annual cycle in Canada and the U.S. breeding, but the majority of the annual cycle in Central America, the Caribbean, and, and South America. So what it's going to take is real international cooperation to try to reverse these declines. So Pete, we're talking about a lot of rare birds. What about common species? Yeah, it's, it's the common species where I actually am getting a little bit alarmed. These are species that we thought were doing fine, but now there's 33 species that we would categorize as common that we're starting to see some real declines in. Species like the northern Bob White, the pintail, a duck species. Uh, as well as the rusty blackbird are now declining at rates that uh, we didn't think were, were happening. Um, our job needs to be to keep species common when they're common and this suggests that perhaps uh, we're, not, we're not that successful with that right now. So what is causing some of these declines in our common species? Yeah, figuring out the causes is, it really needs to be our, our central focus if we hope to actually reverse the declines. And, and habitat destruction by far is the biggest, is the biggest cause. Um, the problem is, is that solving that problem isn't that easy. You know, when the bald eagle and the peregrine falcon were declining and were eventually listed on the Endangered Species Act, in that case it was DDT, it was a single factor. Eliminating that single factor resulted in the massive population rebounds, which was spectacular. Now we're not just dealing with habitat destruction. I fear it's things like cats, it's buildings and, and collisions with towers that are all contributing to, to the declines of these species. So what can individuals do to try and help our birds? It's a good question because there's a lot individuals can do. Uh, it, starts, it starts in your own backyard, really. So reducing pesticides, making sure you're not letting your cat outside, uh, minimizing the impact that birds have with your, your house, so making your windows and, and, uh, and other parts of your house bird friendly are all little things that you can do that you can spread throughout your community. Uh, and collectively, it can really all make a difference to save our nation's birds.